Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Pak Dodo Trunks and this is my first series of a troubleshooting video. Pag-uusapan muna natin itong Windows 10 activation kasi relative ito sa troubleshooting na gagawin natin. And Windows 10, it doesn't even have many restriction. You can continue using it regardless if it is activated or not. Hindi kagaya ng older version ng Windows. Very restricted talaga. And for those who are using a non-activated Windows, the only cons are you can't even personalize your desktop background and meron kang makikita na activate Windows sa ibabang bahagi ng screen. At nakalink yun sa app settings. At doon, meron ka pa rin makikita na Windows isn't activated, activate now. And there are certain apps and programs that need an activated Windows for them to run. In this video, our troubleshooting process was happened in a store where I work for and without too much of a hassle, let's dive right into it. I have here a Lenovo IdeaPad laptop and take note guys that this process will work only on a computer that has a legitimate windows or operating system as you can see here in the settings menu in the bottom right corner of the screen says windows isn't activated let's go to the update and security to the activation Here we can see that our windows isn't activated. In order to fix this issue, make sure that you are connected to the internet. Then click on the troubleshoot. By the help of the troubleshoot, it will scan the system firmware for any product keys installed. After detecting the product key, it will tell you that you need to reboot and make some changes in the system. Now we are rebooted back to the desktop. Let's check for the activation if our process is correct. There you go guys, we activated our windows with a digital license. And I will give you a quick review of this Lenovo IdeaPad laptop. This laptop is a Lenovo IdeaPad 330S 14iKB. It is an Intel Core i3-720U. It has a 8GB of memory and has a storage of 120GB M.2 SSD plus 1TB hard drive. This laptop are designed for a thinner and lighter with a narrow basil for a great viewing angle. Welcome back guys and this is my final thoughts in this troubleshooting video. Bakit kaya nag-prompt yung Windows 10 activation 
that it is needed to be activated. Una, baka merong bug sa Windows 10 build mo, kaya hindi niya agad nare-recognize yung hardware ID. In order to fix this issue, you needed to update your Windows. Pangalawa, baka nag-install ka ng counterfeit programs that blocks or preventing your Windows from activating. Pangatlo, baka nag-reinstall ka ng bagong OS sa system mo at mahina yung internet connection mo kaya hindi niya na re-recognize agad yung unique hardware ID. Pangapat, baka nagpalit ka ng bagong hardware sa system unit mo tulad ng RAM or video card kaya hindi niya agad na recognize yung unique hardware ID ng bago mong system. Alright guys, we wrapped up everything and if you learned a lot from this video, please like my video, subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video.